Doctor Who, season nine, episode 10, everybody. Episode 10, bloody hell, we're almost there. Almost at the end of the season. Now, first of all, I'd just like to mention, this isn't a continuation of episode nine. Um, in a way, I'm glad. Um, in a way, I'm not. Um, more so in the not, because I was sort of getting used to this two-part scenario. I mean, fair enough, if you've watched my other videos before, you'd realise that it was sort of pissing me off a bit, to be honest with you, because the first part was always terrible. Um, now, that's why this episode is actually really, really good, because this is the best episode of the season so far. I tell you what, man, the storyline was brilliant. We have um, the return of a shielder, the immortal girl who lives on forever. She's been in two episodes before. It was brilliant. It was really, really good. Um, there was so many ideas being thrown around in this episode. I mean, first of all, one thing kind of popped into my head. And it was, um, I don't know if anybody's ever seen Hellboy 2 um, with the troll um, city underneath the Brooklyn Bridge. Because there's like this invisible passageway that leads you into this mini community of alien refugees. You've got, you've got aliens all over the place um, crossing the, ex the entire universe of Doctor Who. And I thought it was brilliant. Um, it's also kind of poignant to our society as well at the moment where we've just got bloody immigrants everywhere um, trying to seek asylum. Now, another thing about this episode as well is, again, the, 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 the dragging material, or should I say the dragging ideas from material, from literature. So, in this case, there's actually a mention of the Book of Job. Um, I don't know if anybody else noticed it. If you didn't notice it, go back and watch it. Um, now, with, without giving away any spoilers, um, it involves the tattoo in this episode, and it's the final point of the tattoo. Um, to whomever the tattoo is eventually on, without giving anything too much away. <laughs> um, but yeah, it was really, really good. Um, and I love the idea of the book of Job, because um, Job in the Bible, in the Old Testament, Job was, was like a good, good man. He, he was beyond evil. And one day in, in, in the book of Job, Satan goes to visit God, and God kind of gets Satan and rubs his face in the muck and says, here, yeah, Satan, there's a real good bloke down on earth called Job. And Satan says, well, I'll tell you what, I'm off to get my hands on him, and I bet you he'll curse you by the end of this. And that was sort of interesting, the way they kind of took, sp spun on the idea of the book of Job. Um, because the book of Job actually relates to several different characters, not, necess not necessarily the character that you think it relates to in this particular story. Tiny little spoiler, yeah, it might have something to do with the shielder. But there you go. Ow, I've hurt my finger. But once again, I'll say it, what an episode. Brilliant episode, Capaldi was on fire. The writing was brilliant and he was really, really getting involved in his Doctor character in this episode. He was really, really sinking his teeth into the great story and a great script, to be honest with you. Um, it, it could have been a Matt Smith episode, I mean a good Matt Smith episode, and we're talking like a Matt Smith episode from like all of season one, or at least the first half of season two. Um, it's funny because I, I mentioned to Josh when we were watching it, is that there was actually a point where you see the TARDIS appear, the TARDIS appear in this episode, and it never happens in Peter Capaldi's episodes. The TARDIS is always there, or you just see him walk out of it. And it was really, really good. And the great thing is it just sort of appears in the middle of a busy London street. What I will say is, um, for you Doctor Whoites, is that what you call, what do you call Doctor Who fans? Disciples, Doctor? Doctor Disciples. Doctor Disciples, let's go with that, that sounds kind of cool. Don't forget your box of tissues. That's all I'm going to say. I don't cry over movies and TV, but I felt it in this episode. I did feel it. Um, it's not that wasn't a spoiler, by, cause, by the way, everyone, because if you all know anything about the season, you'll know what I'm talking about. But it was good, it was brilliant. Yeah, it was a good slow-mo moment where this event happens in this episode. And it's funny, because I was thinking while well, a certain event happened, is that uh, it reminded me of this kind of martial arts movie. I know you sound, this sounds a bit weird, but there's a martial arts movie called Bloodsport, starring Jean-Claude Van Damme. It kind of presented to the audience this idea of seeing a shot from different angles repeating itself over and over again. And it does that. Camera one. Ah. Camera two. Ah. Camera three. Ah. And it, it, it was good. I enjoyed it. it was really, really good. Anyway, I, I, oh God, I could talk about this episode forever, but I'm not gonna, because it's a quick review. So what I'm gonna talk about now is Capaldi, once again, brilliant, did a great job. Um, really, really loved it. And after watching the bit at the end of this episode, 
for the next part or the ne the leading up to the end of the season, it looks like Capaldi once again is really going to get involved. And yeah, come on, Capaldi, you're doing a great job this season. You you are by far the best thing about the season. And the great thing is, it's called Doctor Who, so why are bloody not? Jenna Coleman did a fantastic job in this episode. And the funny thing is, she's a bonnie last Jenna Coleman, but when she first started, I thought, God, she's really hot. And then she sort of went down the drain and I didn't really find her attractive anymore. And in this episode, I was like, God, she looks gorgeous. Maybe that was purposeful. If you watch the episode, you kind of think, you know, she's going to go out with a bang. Oh shit, I've just said that. Right, I'm going to cut that out. <laughs> but yeah, Jenna Coleman looked gorgeous in this episode. Really, really good. And, and, and her acting was brilliant as well. And, and I was like, yeah, that was good stuff, man. Um, the supporting cast were all really, really good. And the best thing about the supporting cast in this one is that they don't have a lot to say. They have little one-liners here and there. And I love that. There was no kind of pointless socialising between a lot of them. It was like, we're here for a reason. We're here for a reason. We're here for a reason. So yeah, the writing was brilliant and the directing was brilliant. And it's almost like they took advantage of the fact that this is great script and they're not going to dwell on these supporting actors. And they are there to drive the storyline of the Doctor and whatever's going on in this episode. Well, yeah, everybody, that was brilliant. I really, really enjoyed it. Um, I can't, I, I'll watch it again, to be honest. And I don't say that very often about a Doctor Who episode. Um, so, yeah, Doctor Who, Season 9, Episode 10, Face the Raven. Ed Graham, Ed Graham Poe, by the way. You know, suddenly I heard a tapping as if someone gently rapping, rapping at my chamber door. Yeah, the Raven, go and read that. It's a good piece of playwrightness. And um, I can't wait till next week, to be honest with you. Episode 11, that's two more episodes till the end of the season. I think I'll cry. But then we've got the Christmas episode, haven't we, everyone? Anyway, thank you very much for watching, guys. I thoroughly enjoyed this episode. Peace out, and I'll see you next time.